if you have to teach remotely for any reason, what's the first thing you do? Well, it's a good thing you clicked on this video. Hi, I'm Annalise. I'm a qualified singing teacher and I've been teaching for a number of years. Um, you may find you have to teach remotely for any reason. Any reason. Any reason. Because, you know, some people may be living very remotely and the nearest hospital is a day's drive away. Or people live somewhere where the nearest teacher is two hours away and they don't want to do the drive every week, so it's not just because Voldemort's out and about. You know, I've got other reasons for teaching remotely. These are just kind of my handy dandy tips that I've kind of worked out and I'm gonna share them with you because I'm like that. I use Skype because it's what I already have. I anticipated it, it would be really impossible for me to play and have my students sing over Skype because the delay can be really annoying sometimes depending on the connection. So I did a whole bunch of recordings and emailed them off to the parents. So they had their warm-ups and their songs and it's nice to have the music playing for them right there. I managed to um, get all my students notebooks so I'd have them with me. I figured that was the easiest way is for me to have their notebooks and then I take a picture of the page of the week and email it off to the parents. It's the easiest thing otherwise because if you try and get your student to write down the notes it'll just take up the lesson and we don't want to cut into the lesson. Also students still get their stickers and that's really all they care about. I do suggest doing a trial run over Skype even if it's just five minutes. Currently doing cello lessons over Skype and my cello teacher contacted me saying let's just do like a little five minute Skype conversation just to see if it works and to get the angle right because you have to kind of like wait because you don't want to spend the whole you don't want to spend the whole lesson going is that a guy? Is that a guy? Oh. And my final tip is to try and keep it as normal as possible. I know it's a little tricky. I'm avoiding any of those sentences at the moment, but I've heard suggestions from other people where they're saying if you're teaching remotely, here are some fun suggestions like dye your hair or other things. And I'm just like, nah, don't want to. The only variable you should really have is the screen. Your students are going to be weirded out enough as it is. So if you try and keep it as normal as possible, we need some sanity. So those are my suggestions. If you have to teach remotely, if you are a music teacher doing some other music instrument and you have to teach remotely, what are your suggestions? Were any of these suggestions helpful? I would like to hear them because I kind of like to hear suggestions. Anyways, thing in the thing and